when, when the two other guys were spoken, they are both in the very well at school, that hated school, and so did I as well. So, across the room, who hates school? So it's pretty evident here that you know, the majority of people are hands on. So do that. But they can still make success being hands on. And like Lucy Ann said, it's not all about going to university, it's also about having passion and having the heart and the drive to push forward in your, in your journey and uh, becoming something of yourself. Now, 2008, I was. Uh, I hated school, I was 14 years of age and I wanted to go to, uh, I wanted to go into the meat industry because I was a little cleaner at Saturday, cleaning pots and pans and scrubbing the fridges and at 16 years of age, in 2010 and 31st of July, I, uh, I got offered a job to work for Walter Smith as an apprentice. Little did I know at that time I was about to embark on a journey and it, it, is, an, it is a journey um, to be one of the most successful apprentices in the UK. Um, in 2014, after my training, I, uh, I got entered into a competition to be the uh, Britain's Best Young Butcher. Um, and we went through so many different categories, uh, from uh, ready to eat products, explain, seeing, seeing butchery, artisan butchery. Uh, and I, I would luckily, well not luckily, I worked hard, but uh, I was fortunate enough to come first and win that competition. Um, from there, I got scouty to uh, represent the UK in the, in, the international, in the international competition, competing against a lot of Dutch, French, Swiss, Germans, and wow. I'll tell you now, it's just another level completely. And there's so much to this industry that you don't, you know, honestly, it's just, it's just another thing, it really is. Um, and I came 11th in the world, internationally, so that, that, that was a big achievement for me, although I wanted top 10, but I ended up in 11th, so that's just my luck. Um, when I came back to the UK, after sipping champagne and in a jacuzzi in Holland, uh, <laughs> this boy's got to have the perks in life, haven't you? Um, Paul Cadman, my, uh, my director, he... Um, he put me into the Institute of Meat Awards with a uh, person with most management promise, apprentice with most management promise, and that was about 2015, 2016. So, you know, it was about one, one and a half years on from doing the competitions. And uh, I won apprentice with most management promise. They also had a different category, champion of champions. So, all the apprentices that entered into the competition and individually won each category. Now, this was going on to Best farming apprentice, best retail butchery apprentice, you know, you, you get the idea. It was a champion of champions, so everybody who won, there's always got to be one champion. And I was fortunate enough, again, to, uh, to win and uh, get myself a thousand pounds in my pocket and uh, spent that on a nice holiday in Dubai. So, uh, I mean, that, it was about, I had to put some warm into it, obviously. But, uh, yeah, that, that, and that's what I did. Um, you know, Apprenticeships are the way forward in my eyes. I, I, didn't, I didn't feel that university was right for me. And uh, I was just saying to one of my colleagues over there that um, he went to university, uh, my, my friend did. He got a star and everything in his GCSEs. He got really well in university. And now he's working on Harvey Stubbs as a chef. But he was top grade and everything. Now, if he would have took the job as a chef as an apprentice at the start, he wouldn't have wasted five years of his life and look where he would have been now if he'd done five years in the trades as a chef. He could be, you know, maybe thinking about, you know, being head chef or I mean I'm not too I'm not too into how many years you need to be a top chef, but you'd certainly be a lot further in your career if you would have done an apprenticeship. So I mean today it's really all about, you know, inspiring you guys to become something of yourself and if you've got that passion, if you've got that drive, and you do need to have a little bit of luck on your side, you know, you, you can really get somewhere in life. And uh, it's, it's all about you today. And I hope one day, when I'm another 10 years on, we'll be standing here and we'll be talking to the next lot of apprentices, 
saying what you've achieved and what you've won and what you can do in your life. <coughs> so, um, thanks very much.